Hey everybody, welcome back to Cube Plays Minecraft. My name is Cubulus, and this is my single player world. It's good to be back. I try to play single player on Sundays. I just took a screenshot, you saw that. Hey look, it's a bunny rabbit. Hey bunny. Hi. What's your name? Oh, that's a cute bunny. Hi. I like this bunny. Oh man, I wish you could stay around. I'd make you my pet. Hi, Ayla. Okay, here's the deal. Um, got some stuff to talk about today. I need to go caving. So, first thing we need to do is find a place to put Ayla so that she doesn't run off. So, I think what I'm going to do is just dig out um, a hole for her to go in that she can't get out of. So, maybe for now we'll put it... Uh... Oh, I know what we can do. Do you know what? I know exactly what I'm going to do. I want to find a place to situate, to get set up, to build a base. And I'd like it to be in... Oh, look at all these cute little bunnies. Sorry. Uh, I'd like it to be in a very picturesque spot. I'm thinking of doing it right there. Had a lot of suggestions on the last video. Thank you for your input. Um, I'd asked for ideas on what to build, how to use this area. And I think I've made up my mind. I think I know what I'm going to do. Um... But before we do that, let's make an area for me and Ayla. So let's make her a little place here. I'm gonna build, dig into the side of the mountain. And we're gonna make a place for her so she can't escape and so she doesn't get hurt. Okay. So let me work on that for a bit. Ooh, I am out of inventory room. Okay, I'll work on that and then I'll be back in just a bit. All right, I think we made a nice little place for Ayla. There she'll stay. I will give her some hay and water in a little while. Um, here is my little home for the moment in the hole. Ho er, sorry, my little hole in the hole in the wall, <laughs> if you will. Look at that, my iron pick's almost out. Isn't that ridiculous? Okay, so let's do this. Put some torches up. Light the place up a little. Hey, Ayla. You want some light? There you go. Let's put you one there and one there. And then we'll light up around here a little bit. I don't normally like to spam torches, but I end up doing it anyway just because... What else are you going to do? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so for those of you who are watching this series for the first time, here's my idea. It's changing a little bit. Some of you have, are, have been watching me for a while, and you know what to expect out of my series. Others of you... Uh, this may be your first time watching my single player series, so I'm going to give you um, an explanation of what I am dreaming of for this series. Um, this series is kind of going to be like a little bit of a vlog, definitely a building series. Ooh, it's dark. Oops. Uh, definitely a series where we go on adventures together, but it's also a series where I answer your questions. And I, let's see, where that, did I take that crafting bench? I sure did. Um, I answer your questions and I try to interact with you guys more. So it's kind of like a vlog, but not really with me in it, but with my Minecraft character. So I've got a couple questions chosen for today that I'm going to answer. But before we do that, I'm going to explain what I've decided to do with this area. And it's because of you guys that I've made my decision. Um, you guys gave a lot of really good suggestions in the last episode. So let me first, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, let me make a door really quick. So we can enclose ourselves in here. Just like that. Ooh, I got three of them. And that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> that's what we want, okay. Excellent. Okay, and then let me put some of this crap away. In fact, I'm gonna put as much as I can take that with us. We're going to go caving. Like I said, we don't want to take the diamonds. We do need the meat. All right. I am organized and ready to go on an adventure. Don't you just love it? Everyone take a look right now. These are the humble beginnings. When you first start playing Minecraft, see how there's just nothing really organized in my chest. Just everything I own in the whole world. Eventually, when we build our house and we get and we really get rich, we're going to have storage rooms and all kinds of organization <laughs> but right now i love it it's just like the humble beginnings okay let's talk outside awesome all right ayla let's take you for a ride 
Okay, so here are the two main ideas that I was given. Let's go ahead and take a snapshot of the coordinates so we don't get lost. There it is, guys. There's our beginning home. <laughs> Heidi Hole and Ayla's little shelter. Um, the two main ideas I was given was to build like a pirate ship cove over here. That's one. And then that gave me the idea to maybe do it like an Elizabethan town. Um, which I think would be cool. Like have like the ship docks here. And then build like a city over there with like a big Victorian, like Victorian houses and like a, a, like a big town hall and different things like that and have villagers over there. So that's one idea. Um, and another idea, someone, I'll, if I find the comment, I'll put it in. But if I can't find it, I apologize. Someone suggested I build a, cra a crashed spaceship, um, which I thought was an amazing idea. And which gave me the idea of what if we did a sci-fi city? Now that would be amazing. I've never seen that. Usually everyone builds castles or wooden things. It's because it's kind of hard to build modern in Minecraft without um, without a texture pack, right? So um, I want to do both. Uh, other people did say build modern builds, and I figured if we did a, a futuristic city, then that would fit. But I want to do both, and here's how we're going to do it. Um, I'm going to start out. The thing is, it's kind of hard to build modern without quartz. Quartz is an item you get in the nether, and it's very uh, modern looking. But I'm not going to the nether that soon. I have a lot of collecting to do. I mean, I'm not. Here's the thing about me, guys. I'm not the type of Minecraft player that just rushes through the game and gets everything in a week and then gets bored. I like to take my time. So if you don't like that kind of play style, then I don't know if you'll like this series very much. But hopefully, you'll get into it. Maybe give it a chance. Um, anyway, I'm going to take my time. We're going to start off building the Elizabethan town. And then when we're done with that, we're going to go off in another direction and find a place for the sci-fi city. So you guys can help me with that. So that's the decision I've made as far as the series goes. So I'm actually really excited about it because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I'm a huge fan of sci-fi. So that'll be fun. Okay. So let's go caving. I'm going to get situation. I'm going to actually just cave, dig down probably around here somewhere. And then once we're down in the cave, then we'll talk. We'll, we'll have a talk. I'll answer the, um, the the main two of the questions I chose to talk about today during the episode. One has to do with why I'm named Cubulus, and the other has to do with B-dubs. So I'll be right back. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A cave entrance. And it's right down from my hidey hole. I just started digging down. Um... And look what we got. Excellent. So let's light this up. I like that the lava is here too. Hopefully that'll keep mobs from spawning. Let's go see what kind of a view we have. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, the creativity. The creativity is flowing, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so. Oh, that's not a cave. <laughs> that's no cave. Oh, well. That's okay. Oh, there's, there's the cows we need. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's start talking, shall we? So first question. Now, these two questions I answered in my stream the other night. So if you watched my stream, I'm sorry. We're going to talk about them one more time. Hope you don't mind. Feel free to skip this episode if you want. If you don't want to hear the stories again. Um, but here we go. First question. How did I get my name Cubulus? Why Cubulus? Well, it's kind of a long, complicated story, but here we go. Let's see. What year are we in? About six years ago... Um, I had a friend who had a lot of music on his computer. <laughs> I don't really talk to this guy anymore. Not because we're not friends anymore, but he moved away. But anyway, um, he asked me if I wanted to take a bunch of his music. And I used to, and I, I don't do this anymore because I think music artists should get paid for the music. I don't really believe in free music. But back then, I was all about it. <laughs> and I don't judge you if you do it, but I, I just, I'd rather buy music and pay for it. I mean, a lot of people don't have the money. I totally get it. Um, so I don't, I don't judge anyone. I really don't. Anyway, um, he gave me a bunch of music, and I wish I remember the artist's name. I've deleted it off my iTunes since, but there was an artist. It may have been Fallout Boy. I don't know, but there was a song in this artist's music that I got, and the name of the song was My Name is Cubulus, right? Sp spelled just the same way I spell my name. Um, in... Uh, in Minecraft, okay? Everyone following me so far? 
So that's all I knew. I just I would sometimes see it in the playlist and then I would listen to it, but it wasn't that great of a song. I mean, it's, it had a cool beginning, but I obviously never took the time to really listen to it. Anyway, uh, that same year, I was in school. Goodbye. Uh, I was in college, and and I, I'm I'm actually I was in college for a long time. Um, it took me a long time to finish college, but anyway, there was this. Uh, there's this girl I was into. <laughs> I don't know if I was into her, but she was pretty cute. Her name was Camille. Um, and she had red hair, which I, I tend to be fond of. And uh, she used to stare at me in class, and then I would look I would look at her, and then she would look away. You know, one of those things. Anyway, if we got I finally started talking to her, and we got to know each other. And um, we became Facebook friends. And on Facebook, people don't do it anymore, but back in the day, you could poke people. I mean, you still can, but nobody does it. So we were kind of poking each other back and forth. And one day, she like posted on my page and called me by my name. And I was kind of just being silly. Like, I was kind of playing hard to get and kind of being not a jerk to her, but I was kind of just acting like I wasn't interested, you know? Anyway, so she called me by my name, and I said, that's not my name. You called me by the wrong name. I, I'm, and this is really stupid, guys, but this is how the story goes. And uh, and she's like, well, what is your name then? And I said, well, my name is Cubulus. And she thought that was funny. So she called me Cubulus, like, for a long time. She would just call me by that name. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So, uh, anyway, that lasted for a little while. And then we, be I mean, we actually became pretty good friends. And never nothing ever happened between us. I mean, we never ended up going out together, but... Anyway, that's, an, that's another story for another day. <laughs> but anyway, we became good friends for a while. And then, when it came time to make a Minecraft account... Okay, so my uh, my Xbox Live tag, gamer tag, was Hexacord, right? Hexacord. So that was going to be my Minecraft name as well. I wanted it to be Hexacord, but Hexacord was taken. I was really bummed out about it. Should we dig down? Oh, hi. Let's just dig down here. Shall we? Is that going to be safe? I don't know anymore. Um, so Hexacord was taken, so I didn't know what name to use. So I was like, well, I guess I could use Cubulus. And it wasn't taken. So, oh, hello, Iron. But the thing was, I wasn't happy with it. And to be honest, I still kind of don't really like my na my Minecraft name. <laughs> I mean, you're never happy with what you have to settle for. You, like, you try to think of some cool name to use, and you think you got it, but then it's taken, or else you think it's cool, then a few years later you'll think of it, and you're like, that's stupid. So, anyway. Uh, Cubulus was uh, the one available. And I actually, believe it or not, I had a Cubulus channel before this one. And I deleted it because I hated the name Cubulus. I mean, I didn't hate it, but I thought, no, I got to come up with something better than that. So I had like 20 subscribers and I deleted it. Okay. And then I started over and I tried making a channel named, uh, let's see, what were the other ones? Soundwave spelled S-O-U-N-D-W-A-Y-V. I think I had Radio Wave. I had a bunch of stupid names that had to do with music and sound. But in the end, I just, I didn't like any of them. And I went back to Cubulus. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with Cubulus. So I, I, I deleted, like, I seriously had, like, four different YouTube channels. <laughs> I just kept changing them. And if Admiral Lemon's watching this, he'll laugh at that. Because he knows that whenever I start a character in an RPG, I start over so many times. Because I just can't make up my mind. So the same thing happened in YouTube. I just made so many YouTube channels. Anyway. Finally decided on Cubulus. Made that into my channel. So that's how I got my name. That's how I got the name Cubulus. Kind of a crazy little story. And uh, I'm actually... I mean, I still don't... To be honest, I don't love it. But, you know, I'm never going to change it. It is what it is now. So that's the story of Cubulus. Well, 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 we found a little lava lake. There's some gold over there. Okay. So the second question I was asked was... How did I meet B-dubs? How did I get involved with Flyboys? How did I get involved with Jason the Nicest? How did that happen? How did that happen to some ordinary schmo? I'm the one that said that last part. But seriously, that's a great question. And I will tell you the story now as we dig around here. 
Um, by the way, for those of you who don't play Minecraft, I know there are a few of you. What I'm doing now is I'm gathering resources um, in order to build. I need... Oh, look at that cave over there. Do you see any bad guys? Is that diamond? Probably not. No, I think it's gold. Um, right now I'm in, I'm deep under the earth and I'm in a dangerous spot because the lava can burn me to live. Burn me to live. Burn me alive. There's lots of monsters over there. I promise you that. We'll probably find a few. Ooh, there's some redstone. Um, but the, the most precious resources can be found down at level... Oh, I'm at level 11. You can tell right there up in the upper left about uh, the second paragraph down. This is X, Y, Z. My Y coordinate is my height coordinate, and I'm at 11. Okay, anyway. thought I heard something. So I have to be really careful down here, and that's why I have a sword, and hopefully I can fend off all of the bad guys that will be here. Okay, so how did I meet B-dubs? Well, here's what happened. It all started when Jason the Nicest... Wait, what? Sorry, I'm turning around. He is B-dub's channel artist, right? And he used to post, like, these really cool-looking Minecraft... Or Mindcrack fan art busts of, like, the Mindcrackers. And he did, like, Corrales as well and a few other people that aren't on Minecraft. Or Mindcrack, rather. But I'm a, I'm a huge Mindcrack fan, so I really liked his work with the Mindcrackers. Um, in fact, his link to his channel, I'll put it in the description. So hopefully, if you're interested, you can go check it out. See what it, let's look at some of his fan art. It's really cool. I'm sure... Oh, it is Diamond! Woo! First Diamond on the server. Or server. We're not on a server. First Diamond on, in my sing, SP world, my single player world. Okay, I want to light this place up so that I don't have bad guys sneak up and sneaking up on me. Oh, what a nice little cave, huh? And we got danger over here. Oh, I hate these gravel things. There's probably so many bad guys over here. Yeah, let's take it slow. There's some emerald. Okay, let's talk while I light the area up. Oh, I'm running out of torches too. Crap, that's not good. Let's do what we can. Okay. So Jason the nicest. Oh, we do not want to run into a witch. I'm sorry. I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to caving. You'll see that I spam torches because I'm I don't know. Minecraft really affects me on an emotional level. That's one reason I love it, but another reason why it's really hard for me to play sometimes. Because I get really scared. It's just, it's something about the game. Whoa, I think we're going to be safe in here, though. Nice. Okay, we're good. I don't think mobs can spawn down there. Can they? Well, it's my last torch, so let's hope not. Okay. Now that the place is somewhat lit up, and hopefully bad guys won't spawn. Bad guys spawn in poor light. Oh, what about down here? Oh, there's so many resources. Okay, hold on. Let me get some torches, then we'll finish the story. Just give me one sec. All right, we are prepared here. Hopefully we won't have to do battle. I think we're okay. Oh, look at all these great resources. Oh my god. Oh, that's the other end of the, th of the cave, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, I don't want the water to push me in. Let's just light this up a little bit over here. See that water flow? It'll push me right into that lava if I'm not careful. Well, there's uh, obsidian. We'll use that pretty soon. Okay, let's get some of these resources while we talk. We'll go get the diamond. Don't worry. Don't you worry. So, I actually subbed to Jason the Nicest um, about a year ago. No, sorry, about two years ago after I saw his Mindcrack fan art. And this is an interesting thing. I, I subbed to him, and then he, he kind of didn't put out videos very much, so I unsubbed to him. But then one day I ran across his video again. It was, like, suggested under one of B-Dubs' videos. So um, I was like, eh. I think what it was is I, I found out it became Beatup's channel artist, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll resub to him. Maybe something interesting will happen. Uh, at least then, because what he used to do is he used to post some of Beatup's, like, intros early before they'd go on Beatup's channels, and I really liked what he was doing. Like, he's such a good artist. He's such a good graphic designer. He's a good conceptualizer. Really talented kid, that Jason the Nicest. 
so anyway but i knew him as wolves at my door and here's a funny story like uh um once i saw a guy okay so his he has two names right one's wolves at my door and one is jason the nicest so i knew him as the wolves at my door that's how i knew him not jason the nicest then one day oh i thought i heard something then one day on on twitter not on twitter on uh the on a reddit somewhere i saw someone named jason the nicest taking credit for artwork that i had seen on the wolves at my doors channel so my very first interaction with jason ever was me messaging messaging this guy saying hey i think i saw that artwork on uh, a channel on youtube are you the wolves at my door i just asked him is that you and then Jason messaged back and said, yeah, it's me. A lot of people get confused because I have two different names. And that, my friends, was my first interaction with Jason the Nicest. A few months later, he puts a, a video up on his channel. And the video says, if you want to be on my attack... This is right after Attack of the B-Team came out. He says, if you want to be on my Attack of the B-Team server, apply in the comments. And I was like, oh my gosh. And at the time, I think I had like... I'd had... 45 maybe 50 subs at the time and so I mean I knew about his association with b-dubs um, and I knew he and he had 3,000 subs at the time which I thought was huge I mean it is huge if you have 3,000 subs that's amazing so I thought if I can get on this guy's server I mean it's you know it's not mind crack but it could be some good exposure for me and so I applied I was really nervous I was like there's no way I'm gonna get on there's no way but, and I didn't expect to hear from him for like, I don't know, who knows when he was going to get back to me. The next day I get a message and it says, you're accepted. Send me your Skype name. I'm like, what? <laughs> it was, it was so cool. <laughs> and a lot of the people that got on the Wolf Pride server, I think went through the same thing. We were all so excited. It was just, it was really fun to like have someone like choose you to be on their server. Cause I had been playing Minecraft alone for so long. I had not been on a multiplayer server. So I was a little lonely, and I was discouraged, and I didn't want to, I don't know, I was going to give up on YouTube. I, I, I mean, I, I had a plan to just go for, like, maybe till the summer, and then I was going to stop. So, um, anyway, so I got on the Wolf Pride server. Let's get those diamonds, shall we? And it was really fun. And I remember Jason saying one day, he says, maybe B-Dubs will get on the server one day and say hello to everyone. And I was just like, no way. I couldn't imagine being on a Minecraft server or playing Minecraft at all and then looking across from me and seeing B-Dub's character and knowing it's him. I couldn't I couldn't even imagine it because I was such a huge B-Dub's fan. Um, and I still am. Okay, let's get these diamonds. So... Turns out B-Dub's never really came on the server, which is fine. Um, but what he did do is... Uh, Jason, I became pretty good friends with Jay, actually. Uh, Jay is a really, really high quality individual, like honest and trustworthy and just laid back and doesn't want, you know, just wants to have a good time. Just a really, really good guy. Like, I'm, I'm really lucky to know Jason. So he asked me one day, like, we're playing some Minecraft mini games and he asked me if I've ever played CSGO. I'm like, no, I haven't. And I, I kind of didn't want to buy the game. Because, I, I mean, I'd seen clips of it, you know, and I thought it looked kind of stupid for some reason. I just didn't think it looked that fun. So, <laughs> but, you know, Jay's my friend at the time. So, I'm, I mean, he still is. And I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll try it. You know, it only costs 15 bucks. Let's do it. All right, I think we're, oh, crap. I think we're out of here. Okay, what we're going to do now. Oh, jeez, I am getting scared. Let's go take the supplies back and finish the story. Um... So I play CSGO with Jay, and I really get into it, and I love it. I just can't believe how addicting it is. And then a few months later, down the line... By the way, sorry about the length of this story. Again, if you don't like just talk time and vlog time, then you're not going to like this series at first, until we really get start getting some supplies. So, um... And then at the end... Uh, one day... Oh, sorry. One day we're playing CSGO. What is it? Nighttime? Let's go have a look over here. Oh, that's beautiful. I hear, lo I hear lava. So beautiful. I love Minecraft. Um, one day, we're just playing CSGO, and then Jay says, oh, I think B-Dubs is going to join us. And I was like, oh my gosh, b double O. I'm going to talk to B-Dubs? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? 
wow, blew my mind. So he gets on, and, and all, you hear his voice. He's like, hey, you know, he's like, you know, B dubs, how he talks. He's just like, I don't remember what he said even, but it was just, it was really cool just to hear him on the other end of Skype and just to be like, this guy whose videos I love and watch all the time, I'm, I'm actually playing a game with him. It was nuts. And at the time, I think I had about 110 subscri subscribers, right? Okay. So we play CSGO, and then Jay starts inviting me to play CSGO quite a bit with B-dubs. I mean, you know, like maybe once a week. I was actually surprised. I mean, I was really honored and flattered. But then what happened is, like, I I got I have a full-time job, and I got it was towards, like, it was in a really, really... Uh, busy time of the year for me. Let's see, should we dig down a new way? Let's, actually, let's go down there and just do a little strip mining. Sorry, I know that'll be boring to watch, but we'll finish the story, then we'll end the episode. Um, I promise the series will get better. I will really will start building, but for now, in the beginning, when we're doing uh, stuff like this, I'm gonna do story time, hope you don't mind. <laughs> let's dig this way. So I got really busy at work and I couldn't play CSGO. Like, Jay asked me a few times if I wanted to play with B-dubs, and I said no because I was so busy, I just couldn't. I wanted to. In fact, I regret one time I wish I had just said yes and said screw work, because looking back on it now, what happened is, I think what happened is, like, Jay started getting really busy on, he started getting really insanely popular on Twitch, and then he stopped asking me to play with him in B-dubs, I think mainly because now they were streaming, and you know, I mean, he it's his stream, and and for one reason or another like we never we know we kind of stopped playing csgo with each other which was fine i mean i remember the time being really mad at myself um i was just mad that i had said no those two times i thought i've lost my chance like i've lost my chance to get to know b-dubs i've lost my chance to play csgo with jay i mean i love playing csgo with jay he's such a good guy okay, is there lava behind this <gasps> Hi! <laughs> Fortune smiles upon the favorite. Okay. Let's dig out around here. I hear lava though. I'm a little scared. Okay. So do you know what? I just decide to assume the best. Like, like about myself and about everyone. Okay, where's this lava? Was it just right there? Oh my gosh, that was so close. I'm so glad we dug that direction. We totally would have missed that diamond. By the way, for those of you who don't play Minecraft, which I know there are a few, um, diamond is the most rare resource in the game. and it's, It creates the best tools, it creates the best weapons, uh, it creates the best armor. So you want diamond. Okay. So I was bummed out because I wasn't getting invited to play very much. And like I said, I, there, when you're in that situation, you have two choices. This is a really important lesson. You can either as, assume that people don't like you anymore because they don't ask you, or you can assume that they still like you and they have a good reason for not asking you. That maybe they're just too busy at the time, you know? Like, always assume the best about people. And so I did. I was just like, obviously, like, you know, it's okay. Like, Jay's still my friend. He still likes me. And it's true. And it is all true. He still liked me. He's still my friend. Because guess what? <laughs> um in mid what was it october i guess maybe early october he messages me on skype and i hadn't talked to b-dubs in a long long time right i mean the last time i talked to him was like when we played csgo um and so he messaged me jay messages me and he says hey do you want to do a series with b-dubs i'm like what i was just like i couldn't believe it i was just like so blown away Again, just, I mean, at that point, what I decided to do was just live in denial, because had I not started living in denial at that point, I think I would be dead. Because imagine the first time B-dubs adds you as a friend on Skype. Imagine the first time you're invited to a chat where Schism and Pungents are involved, and Jason the Nicest, and Ty Designs, and we're all there. I mean, I, if, had I not, if I don't live in denial, I mean, I'm such a nerdy fan. I'm a nerdy fan. If I don't live in denial, I'm, I honestly, I'll, I'll shut down from happiness. I admit it. So, um, yeah, I just, sometimes I allow myself a moment to just kind of feel, I don't know, just feel the happiness that comes from being able to play with these people you've been, uh, idolizing. Obviously it feels really good. Anyway, 
So that's how I met B-dubs. And I just want to give you one last bit of information before I let you go. Um, about how amazing B-dubs is. Like, what a great guy he is. First of all, I knew he was, because Jason would say all the time. Now, Jason, like I said, Jason's an amazing guy. And Jason would always say, B-dubs so down to earth. He's so real. He's such. He's just such an honest, real person. Ooh, look at this. This ravine. Oh, jeez, this is gonna be scary. Oh, and we hear the zombie. Hi, zombie. <laughs> oh, poor, poor bat. Okay, I'll have to explore this ravine on my own. I need a water bucket before I go in there. I'm not gonna chance it. Let's go back the other way. <laughs> um, here's the story about how cool B Dubs is. So. When he first adds me on Skype, I don't even message him back. I'm just like, I don't want to bug him. I'm not going to be a nerdy fan. I'm just going to play it cool. But finally, I really wanted to tell him thank you so... Oh, crap. That could have been deadly. I just want to say thank you, B-dubs, for letting me be in your series. What an, what an honor. I mean, he could be playing with, like, Etho. He could be playing with Jenny B. He could be playing with all these amazing friends of his. He could be playing with Anders. Pyro, whoever, you know, like, why me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who am I? I am no one. So I'm just like, I got to tell the guy thanks. I got to just say, I mean, I, I felt like a nerdy fan. I didn't want to. I didn't even want to bug the guy, you know. I just I just wanted to keep my distance. But finally, I'm like, no, I got to say thanks. So I, oh, <laughs> diamond, baby. So, um, <laughs> So I message him. In fact, I'd like to read you the exact Skype message. So hold on. Oh, I can't. Do you know what? It's been deleted because I had to reset my Skype. Crap. So I'll just have to paraphrase. Um, basically, I say, B-dubs, uh, I just want to thank you for the privilege and honor of um, being on this series. I, I can't thank you enough. I don't know what to say, but I'm so grateful. And words can't express how grateful I am. Some, I don't know, something like that. And here's what he writes back. <laughs> he says, You know I just wanted you for your body. And in that moment, it's like something you would say to someone who you've been friends with for a long time, right? And I knew he was just like, just making me feel at home. Like he, I mean, he could get my sense of humor because we'd played before. And in that moment, I knew, okay, this guy is so cool. I mean, I already knew he was cool, but at that moment... It was confirmed about what a good guy b -dubs is and just how perceptive he is and how much he cares for other people. I know that may seem silly. Some of you are laughing, saying, like, that's stupid, man. All he said was, I just want you for your body. But the thing you need to take, you need to think of it in context. Like, he's a very smart, smart man. He knew, I think he knew what I was feeling at the time. He knew I, that I'd feel awkward talking to him. And, uh, Communication is a lot more than what people say. It's like the context they say it in, and it's about the situational awareness. And that's something that's really hard to learn in life. Um, anyway. So that's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed the little episode here. I'm going to cut out, and I'm going to mine. And the next time, what we'll do is we'll go cut down some trees. We may have one more episode where I just answer questions, so please give me your comments. Oh, sorry, let me turn off that zombie. Uh, options, music. Goodbye, zombie. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you have any questions at all for me, please put them in the comments. Um, I'll try to answer as many as I... I mean, I'll, I won't answer all of them, but... Uh, any ideas for the Elizabethan town? You know, I definitely want to build at least one pirate ship. Um, if there's any Jane Austen fans out there, tell me what I should build. <laughs> Anyway, I'd like it to be a cross between Jan Austin and uh, and Pirates of the Caribbean. I think that'd be really fun. So, anyhow, I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And thank you for watching and listening. And I will see you next episode. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.